Hello friends, this is Pravesh and I welcome to all of you on my channel Global Studies Aspirants and as you can see on your computer screen we are going to talk about Gerard Janet today and he is a writer, he belongs to cultural theory, fine and further this is the part of structuralism, okay and friends those students who are preparing for UGC net examination this topic is very very important, very very essential for those because is it belongs to the cultural studies okay let's talk about for about first one slide over here let's see the first one slide here the picture of this Gerard Jeanette in the very in very young age friends and now let's talk about the further introduction basic introduction Gerard Jeanette friends is a time period is 7th June 1930 as you can see over here and to 11th May 2018 he was a French literary theorist fine and apart from this friends he was associated in particular with structuralism okay he was associated with structuralism movement okay and such figures like Rolla Barth and Laudy Levi-Strauss okay Laudy Levi-Strauss you can call it he belongs they belong to these structuralism movement as well. Rolla Bath, I have already covered friends in my last video. You can check it out my last uh, this playlist. Okay, you will find him. Okay, further he adapted the concept of Bry College. Okay, and further now let's talk about narrative discourse or narratology. He is the main concept, friends. Okay, this is narratology or you can call it narrative discourse. He was given by Gerard Janet. Okay, let's see. Let's talk about further narrative voice. He actually he has given a complete mechanism of this narrative discourse that is for the first step, first part is narrative voice. And this in this narrative voice, we further include three main subparts over here, like narrative instance. First one narrative in instance, okay. And the second one narrative time, and the third one narrative levels, and then again narrative levels is first one we will talk about narrative voice in narrative voice we will find three subparts first one narrative stance and then narrative time and after that narrative levels and again is a narrative levels this is second part this is narrative voice first part and then second part narrative levels and again it has been divided in uh, four subparts over here like uh, we can see over here order duration frequency and mode fine and this is also uh, again further has been divided in subpart but as per the examination perspective friends uh, you don't need to go much very deeply okay it's enough if you prepare this these one okay these narratology or these mechanism okay uh, by here that's is enough for your examinations okay because he's a uh, minor writer you can call it's not a major writer but actually he, he's not a very much minor writer so we cannot speak so the whatever the essential information or important information or works or terms that's what we will talk about okay and let's talk about further let's talk about the next one slide over here friends and now let's talk about the Gerard Janet presented the five types of inter intertextuality. Actually, friends, this term is very, very essential, very, very important. You can call it okay because here this is the intertextuality. You must have heard the, about intertextuality. Okay, intertextuality. What about intertextuality? Okay, this term is very, very important as per your examination pers perspective. So here Gerard Janet, you know, talk talked about there are he told that these are the five types there are five types of intertextuality let's talk about one by one okay the first one paratext fine let's see what what has been told in paratext what do you mean by paratext friends paratext means these are the epigraphs prefaces okay let's suppose i will let you know friends just a moment that these are the epigraphs prefaces forwards epilogues addresses to the reader acknowledgements footnotes, drafts, illustrations that are somehow connected to the main narrative. Okay, it means friends that you suppose you are writing any play 
any novel or any other text that if before starting that particular text we have to provide some information okay in advance that is called as paratext or it may be in form of epigraphs okay it may be epigraphs fine over here the like you can see epigraphs okay preferences forwards you can call it epilogues addresses to the reader. and apart from this acknowledgement at word footnotes as well and illustrations so all these parts are called paratext let's talk the next one and here the next one is intertextuality what do you mean by intertextuality friends is just the main moment here intertextuality refers to the allusions okay allusions means that there is something uh, that you have written some work somebody has written some work but that is not complete that is form of in in allusion okay that is you may be some kind of ambiguity okay references to other works but it references us to other works like echoes quotes and citations these kind of you know you can call over here these kind these kind of uh, just a moment be online and the echoes fine like echoes we can call it quotes you have heard about it okay citations so these kind kind of uh, literary works or literary techniques are called intertextuality and it may be form of even plagiar plagiarized sections of a work like we have taken some content from any other work and we are presented that content in our particular work so that is called as plagiarized sections okay just a moment now let's talk about further and here the architectuality the third one let's see what about it. what does it mean friends and you know what friends architectuality is the relationship of a text to the other text fine you may be understand that it tells us the relationship the relationship okay the relationship of a text to the other text in the same genre for example we can take an example over here connection between a 20th century satirical poem like here the, the mr w h jordan okay he has written a satirical poem okay in 20th century and that is the same genre because it has some characteristics same characteristics same features that that is similar to the satire of alexander pope okay so this this is the same genre same genre you can call same genre and same features point you, you will find over here same feature so the, these kind of features or attributes are called is called architectuality and now let's talk about the next one and here the meta textuality let's see what about the meta textuality you know meta text textuality friends is something like the relations between the critical commentaries biographical commentaries and other references to the main text okay so, fine what about meta textuality meta textuality means friends i repeat again that's is the relationship between the text and the critical commentaries okay biographical commentaries and other commentators to reference to the main text suppose you have written or somebody else somebody else has written some work now the audience or any other contemporary writer or critic or critic they will comment on that particular work in their form as per their ideology okay and they will commentary they will comment they will commentary on that particular work or they can read or they can write a biographical notes references or on these work that is called as meta textuality hope you must be understanding right now let's talk about the uh, hyper textuality hyper textuality is something like meta textuality is these are the some characters uh, similar over here in that it refers to the, to the text that come later or after the main original text suppose you have some writer has written some work but that is not complete the later part has you know the later part will come after some time okay so what you call here what you understand here friends that original text is hypertext the first part of that particular te te text is called hypertext the first one part the first one part is called hypertext and the later that the later part the rest of the part that will come after the first work that is called hypertext okay so i hope you must be getting what is hypertext and hypertext hypertext means the first part of any particular text and hypertext means later part of the of that particular particular same text okay 
thus it may be a parodies okay in the form of parodies or also are also included in this hypertextuality spoofs okay you can take examples if spoofs adaptations these are kind of hypertextuality hypertextuality you can come or okay the example of this would be frankenstein according to the spike milligan the the original novel frankenstein was written by mary shelley but later part okay the you can call the parodies or the spoof kind of work was written by spike milligan and here the same another one another, another example you can call here friends edward bond he has written lear but actually the king lear was a work of shakespeare shakespeare has written okay so after that the same work has been written again okay it's so it may be some maybe some pro minor pro minor changes okay minor alteration that may be presented in front of the audience that is called as hypertextuality the original one is called hypertext and then uh, next one each next one copy later copy is called as hypertextuality okay hypertext okay so i hope you must be getting friends let's see further and now let's talk about the conclusion friends over here let's so gerard jinit friends gerard jinit worked and given the narration theory he has given the narration theory he is given the narration theory uh, okay and intertextuality types he told us uh, how many types are there of intertextuality okay and in his books he has written a very famous book you can uh, write down you can remind okay friends uh, 1997 it was published in 1997 okay you can take screenshot or you can write down it in your notebook and he it is an excellent analysis of such old narratives and narr narrative narrative devices okay so this is all for today friends and if you really like this video please do not forget to like our channel and uh, like our video subscribe to your and subscribe our channel as well and share to your friends as well fine and i will meet you again with the next one video all right till then bye and take care thank you for watching this video